We're gonna be spending a week in Charleston, South Carolina, and we just went grocery shopping. So we're gonna put it all away and then we're gonna go explore. So here's all the stuff that we got to last us through the week. We got some blueberries, some beer, some rice, some crab cakes, some fruit, yogurt, and some chicken over there. So let's put it away. food's put away now we're gonna go to the laundry mat to do some laundry real quick and then we're gonna get on our bikes and explore charleston really enjoy making vlog videos like this for you guys that are not super edited and it kind of shows you guys like the real deal of what it's like to live inside of a camper van just got to the laundry mat so let's go inside we keep all of our dirty laundry inside of here this kind of just lifts up and it's full right now so we're gonna clean it While we wait for that clothes to wash, we're gonna go back to the van and we're gonna do some computer work because we have a couple uh, videos that we haven't edited yet. So we're gonna walk back and do that for about a half an hour and then we'll come back and wait for it to dry. The timer just went off to go switch over the laundry. So I'm gonna do that. It sucks because the weather said that it wasn't gonna rain today and it's kind of been raining nonstop all day. And we were hoping we can ride our bikes around Charleston. So. Hopefully it clears up here soon. Well, the laundry's drying and uh, we got about 30 minutes. So I'm probably gonna have a little snack in the van and then uh, go grab it. And then we're gonna try to go find a place to have some fun for the day. I'm back in the van with the laundry. Now we're gonna try to figure out what we can do for the rest of the day because it's raining and our plan was to ride bikes around Charleston. But we're gonna Google some stuff and I'll be back with you in a minute. So the computer work is done, the laundry's done. Now we're gonna go walk the dogs. Then we're gonna go to a naval ship museum to check it out. So let's go. So we have a 12 minute drive to the ship and we're gonna try to find a place to walk the dogs uh, on the way because it is raining and we don't want them to get too wet. So about two years ago, we came here with the bus. We spent a few days here. Charleston is a very coastal city and it's very historic too at the same time. So it's definitely right up our alley. Quick pee break for the dogs. So that's the bridge that we went over to get here. And that is the ship that we're gonna go on to. $54. Uh, that's 60 there. Behind the receipt, got six dollars back. All right, thank you. Good one. All right, thanks. We got our tickets, it was 54 bucks. And now let's walk over. We have another uh, smaller one right next to it. This is the USS Yorktown aircraft carrier, and this is the 10th aircraft carrier ever built. And as soon as you walk in, this thing is massive. There's a bunch of planes inside of it. It served in many wars throughout the 1940s and 1950s. It officially retired in the 1970s and sits off the coast of Charleston. I think up here is the flight deck, according to Hope. It was really cool walking on the flight deck of this aircraft carrier. There was a lot of cool planes and helicopters. And I can only imagine what it was like to fly one of these right off the ship.
After walking through a bunch of different rooms, we headed back downstairs and realized how big this thing really is because we hadn't explored downstairs. Downstairs, there was a bunch of other rooms and the kitchen where they would cook their food. Then we made our way over to the engine room. The engine room is the last place I would want to be in this aircraft carrier because it used to get up to 130 degrees. We spent about two and a half hours inside of there. It was really interesting. There was a lot of cool stuff that we learned. It was definitely worth the price for $27. They could have probably charged 35 and I still wouldn't be upset with that price. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but we're going to head back to the van now and then uh, figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the day. We're back at the van and now we're going to head over to Chick-fil-A because tomorrow the new cauliflower sandwich comes out. We're going to sleep in their parking lot tonight and we're going to be the first one to try one. <laughs> Let's do it. Alrighty, we are at the Chick-fil-A. It's a massive parking lot here, so we're gonna just find a spot in the parking lot, post up for the night, cook some dinner. They open at 7 a.m. I'm not sure if we should be there right at 7 to get this sandwich, but I want to be. Uh, so come cook dinner with us. I think we should be there at like 6. <laughs> Who knows, there might be a line. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Jackery. Jackery makes high quality power stations that help van lifers and bus lifers not only get outdoors, but stay outdoors for longer. Hope and I travel full time with our Jackery Explorer 2000 Pro and we use it as a backup just in case we run out of power. We're able to charge our Jackery off of our two 200 watt solar panels, which charge it up pretty quickly. The Jackery 2000 Pro has a 2200 watt pure sine wave inverter, which allows you to plug in things like refrigerators, microwaves, or any appliance you guys want to plug in while you're on the go. It also has things like USB, USB-C, flashlight, a display, which lets you know how much battery you have left, and a cigarette lighter so you can plug other things into it. As some of you know, Hope and I travel full time in our camper van and we travel from state to state going to different clients' homes to help them convert their buses and camper vans. And when they don't have power for us, we use our Jackery to help power some things like our miter saws, table saws, and charge batteries for our power drills. If you guys want to get yourself a Jackery, click the link in the description below. Now let's get back to the video. So we're parked outside of Chick-fil-A. Now we're going to cook some dinner, call it a night, and I'll see you guys in the morning. So it's six o'clock in the morning. We're going to wake up and we're going to go to Chick-fil-A to get this damn sandwich. I never thought that I would wake up at six o'clock in the morning to go get some damn Chick-fil-A. <laughs> That was a complete failed attempt to get a damn sandwich. Um, they start at 10.30. And yesterday <laughs> I had asked my lovely wife if uh, they started at a certain time. And she was like, I don't think so. And I asked her this morning as well. So we just woke up at 6 a.m. for absolutely no reason. Walked over to Chick-fil-A and left empty handed. Well, we left with a coffee. So I um, guess we're going to come back at 10.30. All right, so it's 10, 15 in the morning. We had came back to the van and went back to sleep. So now we're up and we're gonna try to go back to Chick-fil-A and hopefully they have these damn sandwiches ready. Round two. Four, eight, four. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure, you have a good day. Thank you. And coffee. Ooh, that's hot. So let's try this popular cauliflower sandwich. So it looks just like chicken, it smells just like cauliflower, and it looks like a big piece of cauliflower. It's literally what it is. It looks like chicken to me. And it also has pickles on it, there's no sauce. So I'm gonna try it.
go. This is bomb. What do you think? Pretty good. It tastes like chicken. Pretty much softer inside than I imagined. Remember I told you, I thought it was gonna be kind of soft. I thought it was gonna be a lot of like cauliflower that's mushed together. It's actually a whole piece of cauliflower. After reviewing the food, I give this a nine out of 10. I like it. So it's been about 10 years since I've been inside a Chick-fil-A. Since I've had one of their sandwiches, I turned vegetarian when I was about 16. And a Chick-fil-A sandwich was one of the last things I purposely ate, meat-wise, obviously. Um, so this made me really happy to hear about the new sandwich. So that was really good. Um, we did find out that the sandwich is technically not vegetarian because it is cooked in the same oil that uh, other chicken sandwiches are cooked in. So it was a little disappointing to hear. But besides After that, it. <laughs> it was really good. And uh, I'm definitely going to get some more. But uh, we're going to get back to the van now and uh, call it a day. So see you guys later. Peace.